Unfortunately, we could not get the job done tonight. Um, unfortunately, our run ends in Houston against a very experienced, very big, and amazing team like UConn Huskies, University of Connecticut. Um, we have lost this war 59-72. Um, the few problems is that UConn's shooting, they've been pretty consistent. Um, our shots were not that consistent. Um, we couldn't we couldn't keep the run going. And by the time the run stops, then we go on a drought. And they end up going on their run. So when we tie the game uh, early in the first half, um, it wasn't enough because then and after that we end up going on a drought. I knew coming into tonight that we we're going to have a tough battle. And I knew it was going to be a tough game from start to finish. And from start to finish, there was this gut feeling. And a lot of, a lot of us Canes fans, um, um, not me, I just, I believed. Um, I, I, I had to keep the faith in. But a lot of um, Hurricanes fans were, had this bad feeling about this game. And... <laughs> Boy, they were right. Um, players um, like Sunoco with 21 points with 10 rebounds. Um, they can rebound the ball. Not us. We could barely rebound anything. We were having, we were just having a tough time. And um, and their three-pointing three pointing team just off the charts. They, it's just, it's amazing. Some of these guys, um, there's actually one guy that that team who shot more threes than the rest of uh, the Hurricanes team. It was Jordan Hawkins. Jordan Hawkins scored three three pointers, as well as Sunoco with two three with two three pointers. By the way, did I mention that Sunoco is six point nine? Uh, inches tall. That's not even the worst part. Uh, Donovan Klingen, who's a center, seven foot two. So when they had that much of a big height advantage, like Duke size height advantage, there was no shot. Honestly, there was no shot. Not even Omir. Omir just just had a tough, just had a tough time. Uh, not only to try to rebound, he has seven, but there's there's one point, there's, he has eight points scored. And Omir couldn't score on the rebounds, and especially offensive rebounds. Um, it was so frustrating. I believe we had 13 missed layups in, that, in this game. 13. Can you imagine that? 13 layups. Some of them were wide open. It was so frustrating to even comprehend watching this game. Um, Jordan Miller, who coming off with a perfect game last week against Texas. By the way, as far as I get, as far as I remember, with the WNBA, NBA, college foot, college basketball, um, I don't think anyone's ever gone perfect like Jordan Miller did. Isaiah Wong, fifteen points. Um, yeah, yeah, we ran to UConn, and that was a it was season set a match. The closest we got was eight points uh, within in the second half. Um, you know, besides you know the Florida Panthers and the Miami Heat, um, just those professional teams, the winter sports, win yeah, winter sports. Um. What a crappy South Florida day. <laughs> what a crappy day for South Florida sports. Um, not only the Hurricanes got eliminated, um, FAU, um, I, I'm, I'm going to give them a shout out too because I think they deserve it after an, a historic season that FAU has. Um, just went on some kind of run they have. Um, it was, it, you know, as a South Florida fan, 
and well, I'm a Canes fan, um, but but if you but you just so happen to root for other schools, um, sort of like what I do, um, you gotta feel like like there's some there's some promising things for the future of South Florida sports. FAU has went on this run we have never seen before. And they made it as far as Final Four, just like the Hurricanes did. The only difference with the Hurricanes and the Owls, the Owls, this is their first time actually winning a NCAA March Madness game in this season. The first one was back in 2002. Imagine that. And they went on this run to almost making it to the championship, but they end up losing in the heartbreak against the Aztecs and heartbreak. But for the Hurricanes, um, the difference between this and the Owls, the Hurricanes, at least they did make it to the March Madness many times. But this feels different because we actually made it far. We made it far. Um, we made it far. We just didn't make it to the championship. Um... So, in my humble opinion, what they should do is, in this offseason, they should probably, and this is just me personally, they need to improve the height. Um, and somebody needs to, somebody needs to help out um, Omir. Because I know for sure Omir is going to want to play in Miami again. He's a good rebounder. He needs help with the rebound. So, what, what we should do is get a good star center because as far as i'm looking at in the roster we do not have a single center in our team not a single center yukon they have one center and he's huge and he's soft and he scored four points and i'm talking about donovan Klingon from yukon so that's what i think they should do um if there's any chance that Isaiah Wan would come back, I doubt it. But if there's a chance, he would need some support too because I think Jordan Miller is um, probably going to go for the NBA. He's a senior, um, and I think he's ready to go for the NBA. I think Wong too. So there's some work to be done for um, the Hurricanes basketball. But regardless, regardless of what happened tonight, how I feel, this is my final thoughts of this hurricane season. What a ride. Honestly, this has been <laughs> this has been a crazy fun season to watch. This is probably the most fun hurricane season I've ever watched in my days of being a Hurricanes fan. Absolute fun. Um so I'm actually happy. I'm happy that we made it this far. I'm happy that we um, lasted longer than FAU did. I mean, no offense. Um, not taking any, not taking any credit away from FAU because they made it far. They just barely, they just barely missed it. Just like we missed, uh, well, we we missed badly. But, you know, we, uh, but anyway, uh, the key points here is the key takeaways. This was a fantastic season. Absolute fantastic season. Um, so, what I hope, they find a good center. Uh, they find um, Isaiah Wong type. I don't want to say Isaiah Wong type player because that should just be cruel to Isaiah Wong. Um, I just hope uh, they find some good shooters from high schools. That there. That's how, that's how I would put it. Um, and... Um, Hopefully next season we um we come back to March Madness. Hopefully we win the ACC championship. If we're still in ACC, which I'm pretty sure we will still be in ACC next season, because uh, I heard there's something going on with the ACC contracts with Miami FSU. Um, I think Pitts. I don't know about Pittsburgh. It might be Pittsburgh, but I know there's something going on. I think there's some contract problems. I think it has something to do with uh, the revenue, how ACC and these teams are getting the money compared to how SEC is getting them. I don't know. I, I have to look into it. I'm just, this is just what I'm hearing. 
But um, anyway, I, this is this video has already gone longer than it needed to be. Um, overall, fantastic season. Um, the grief, the grief will be a couple of days, but um, I, I'll, I'll get over it pretty quickly. Um, as far as UConn, um, good game. You definitely, you definitely kicked the shit out of us. Um, no excuses. This was, you, you guys were dominant. You guys were a better team. Um, and there was no excuse from us. No excuse. Um, but, um, yeah, that's going to do it. Um, that's going to do it for this video, folks. Go Canes. And I hope you enjoyed these videos. Um, the, you know, reaction videos. Um, I hope you enjoyed these videos. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe more content, and comment down below if this is something that you would like me to do. Like, and, like, uh, when we get to the football season, or maybe baseball if they make it to the College World Series, but just an idea. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of these videos. And I'll probably do something more than just, you know, these videos, Miami vlogs. Well, yeah, Miami vlogs. And maybe one Miami plays, you know, just to get through the summer of, you know, or, or, or unless if the Florida Panthers and the Miami Heat make the playoffs, which there's a good there's a good shot for the for the for the Miami Heat still. I know it sounds crazy, but they could still make it to the playoffs. They could at least win the play on or if there's some miracle. For the Panthers, they're still I'm still a bit eh. Alright, I'm done rambling. Miami GVG, if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more content because we have your back. And when he does, he'll be right there with you for the entertainment you deserve. Good night. I'm going to bed. Um, I'm going to go grief. And yeah, and I'm excited for the future. Good night, everybody.